Hey guys, in this video, I explained the photoelectric effect with a short and common example. First, let's define what a photon is. A photon is a particle. Uh, it has no mass, it has no charge, and it travels at the sp speed of light. And then we have the electron that will be the particle ejected from the metal. And the electron has mass and the electron has a charge. And now you see the electron has speed. So why is the photoelectric effect important? The photoelectric effect is when we have a photon in which it will have a discrete energy. In this case, we have about two electron volts and we, we actually have three photons here. The first one has 1.7 electron volts, the next one has 2.2, and the third one has 3.1. They all have different energies and the energies are proportional to their wavelength, which you see here. So the shorter or the smaller the wavelength, the more energetic the photon will be. In this example, the red photon or the red light photon has a lower energy. Therefore, it cannot surpass the binding energy of two EVs that we need to eject that electron from the plate. Therefore, when we emit a photon of red light, we get no electrons. This is a traditional example, and people tend to say that red light doesn't emit electrons. Well, it tends to emit a not a lot of electrons, a lesser amount of electrons, but if you have a sufficiently low binding energy, you will still get electron emission with red light. It is just not very typical, and in the traditional examples or experiments, red light does not emit photons. Moving on to a more energetic photon, we see that we do overcome that binding energy and then we eject the electron. The electron has a V max of about three times 10 to the fifth. Then you move with, uh, to the more energetic photon and then we see it, we shine the photon to the plate, we overcome the binding energy and then the electron is ejected. And we have a V max that's much higher than the one with a green uh, light photon. Therefore, we can see that it's proportional, the energy of ejection or the velocity is proportional to the photon that we shine upon the plate, in this case, uh, the potassium electrons that will be in this surface. The formula you have here is uh, contains the Planck um, constant in which we prove how the velocity as long as we have the Planck constant will be proportional to the energy of a photon. When Planck discovered this, we really didn't understand the photoelectric effect and actually our understanding of the photoelectric effect is uh, a contribution of various scientists and, and in the end, probably more than five Nobel prizes really contributed to our current understanding of the photoelectric effect. And the photoelectric effect is our one of our bases, our foundational knowledge of modern quantum physics. The reason photoelectric effect is important for radiology and for other systems in engineering is because it allows us to transfer or to change that signal, convert that signal from a photon or light into an electric signal. So we go from light to an electric and it's easy to remember because the photoelectric effect, that's really what it is describing. And, and therefore it's important for our devices in radiology, you have an X-ray photon, which is, we, we do have an X-ray, but it's a very energetic photon. It's still a photon, it still has the dual nature of wave and particle. And we emit this, this photon either uh, to our detector or, or the actual patient and that interaction the photoelectric effect will have different consequences, whether we're talking about the, the tissue in the patient in which the bone, for example, has a higher photoelectric effect and therefore it, it will appear white in our x-ray while the ones that penetrate then have that photoelectric effect at the detector. So therefore, the, ironically, the ones that have the photoelectric effect earlier in the tissue will not cause a photoelectric effect on the film, or in this case, the detector, since everything is digital nowadays. But you get the example of how important the photoelectric effect uh, is for imaging, 
And we have a similar example with nuclear medicine in which we have our gamma cameras and we're detecting the light being emitting, emitted from the patients. And then we convert that light to an electric signal by means of the photoelectric effect.